first thing to do before fitting a battery is to make sure you take the keys out as some vehicles will central lock when you reconnect the battery. Also the radio code will be lost once the battery is disconnected. Most modern vehicles have a plastic box covering the battery now. Um, this obviously needs to be removed before we can get to the battery terminals. We always start with a negative terminal, that's the black terminal first. Uh, the reason for this is if we was working with the live terminal and we touch the bodywork we would get a spark which could at worst blow the top of the battery off. So we always start with the black and finish with the black. Battery terminals get more and more complicated. In this particular case we're just going to unbolt these two 10mm bolts and then we're going to swap the main connector over once we've removed the battery from the vehicle. Next we're going to undo the main battery clamp. These are normally just hold on the bottom of the battery. Um, some do have brackets going over the top but it'll, that will be obvious. This particular vehicle also has a vent connected to the battery. This is to stop build up of any gases in the box. Obviously it's important that this is removed and refitted to the new battery. For safety, normally the battery terminals will be covered by some plastic cover. Obviously we remove these first of all and then we can swap over the main battery terminal that we left connected to the battery. It's important when fitting any terminal to the battery that you make sure they go as far down the post as possible. The posts are tapered and if you don't do this they can clamp their cell and not the post. Here you can see the lip, what the clamp goes on to. Volkswagen and Audi use a thicker lip, uh, in which case you'll need to add the spacers to the battery. Sometimes the batteries all come with them, in which case you need to remove them, if not fitting them to that make a vehicle. On this particular case, first of all we will reconnect the vent pipe then slide the battery over and refit the clamp. As we said earlier, we always finish with the negative, so the first terminal to go on will be the positive red one. Again, make sure the post is as far down as possible, that way it will clamp nice and tight on the post. With the covers refitted, first job is to make sure the central locking is working as the alarm may be set. Once that's OK, we then can set the radio code up. The windows may need to be taken through their full travel up and down before they work properly and you also may need to drive the vehicle around the block before ABS and uh, stability control lights are extinguished. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.